by a mutual friend Tony. He said you could hook me up. Uh-huh, what you looking for? Something fast. You know, not too expensive, probably two to three. And when you get to town? Day after tomorrow. No problem. I know a guy who can sort things out. Tell me, can you drive? A little. <laughs> Modesty. Interesting. You ain't gonna fit in around here. Yeah, not sure I plan to. So where do we meet? It's a fast food place on Sunset, right? It's an old train car. The joint is named Carney's. Keep your head down, man. Police are all over us at the moment. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video, and today we are on Midnight Club LA for the first episode of this Let's Play. Now, look at that. That intro was absolutely amazing. I remember watching that over and over again in the trailers that they released and stuff. But anyway, we've got to pick the first car. More important stuff. So we've got a Scirocco, we've got a 240SX, and we have a Golf GTI. Now, it's pretty obvious which one we're going to go for. I think we're probably going to end up getting rid of it anyway at some point in the future. But for now, we're going to go ahead and pick the 240SX. Nice car. <laughs> Thank you. What, so you book? So they say. What? Man, don't tell everyone. <laughs> Trust me, man, I won't. Man, you're funny. You're like Tony. You're one of them funny East Coast guys, huh? You here to do stand-up? No, are you? Book doesn't need a stage. People laugh at him just walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Nikolai. Your girlfriend found me funny. She did. Ooh. She was confused, wondering why you dressed like you're playing golf. Cole! Yeah, <laughs> shut up, y'all. Anyway, what you here for? Race some cars, man. What you mean, race some slow cars? There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of kids hanging around down on the strip, right between Rodejo and Fairfax. Go race them. Then we'll talk. Okay. Good luck, homie. Come on, y'all, let's get something to eat. See if they can do me a burger low carb. Enjoy. Okay then, so, uh, uh, there we go, that, that was the first cutscene done and over the way with I'm on Xbox, so we're going to run into that issue quite a lot of me fucking disconnecting my controller um, I have got it on three uh, on PS3, but I've heard it's a lot smoother on Xbox But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the controls and I will be right back once they are done Okay, so there we go, I just quickly went ahead and did my controls And it feels so weird to be back into this game Okay, okay, can I, can I just, yeah, my headlights are flashing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it feels really weird to play Midnight Club again. I haven't played this in such a long while. I did have it on PS3, uh, and I remember there was some huge, um, some huge lag spikes and some huge FPS drops and whatnot. So, that's why I went ahead and bought it on, on Xbox. And we have the complete edition, so that means we're also going to be doing the, uh, the South Central LA uh, DLC, but... Okay, 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 I, I know what Slipstream Turbo is. Okay, well, we're just going to go ahead and overtake him anyway. But that means, yeah, we're also going to be doing the South Central uh, updates too. Oh, cockpit view! Yes, cockpit view, that's amazing. Anyway, uh, we're not going to be doing a full-on, full walkthrough, because that shit was completely, like, 2012. Who does full walkthroughs, anyone? No one. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is, similar to how I did my Need for Speed 2015 one, uh, we're going to kind of be doing it sporadically. I'm not going to be showing you every single race, just kind of the, the best parts, basically, of the, of the Let's Play. Because otherwise, I find it gets really boring, and you guys don't want to watch a boring Let's Play. So that's how we're going to do it. And I've got to say, I think this is going to be a really good Let's Play. Now, we're going to go ahead and use the classic camera. This is the best camera, in my opinion. So, we're going to go ahead and scar over there. And this 240SX was never a car I usually picked back in the day. Uh, back in the day, I didn't really know much about, you know, uh, the, the, this car. And I just didn't really know much about cars in general. Like, I wasn't awfully educated. Uh, so I always used to go for the Scirocco, 
right. most of the time when I when I used to restart this game. Uh, so it's kind of interesting trying using this because I don't think I've used this a lot. Anyway, first impressions done. That's the first mission done. We should get a call from Brooke now. Yeah, yeah. I've been hearing good things. I need give me a run for my money. That's big talk. You ain't proved nothing yet, but I got a guy for you. Do call Trevor. Full of it like Did we just beat that guy? I swear we just beat that guy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so now we've got to go ahead and beat this guy. Ah! Oh! Okay, so we're going to go ahead and flash our light and get this shit sort started. So, he wants to race us to the starting line. Now, usually, I would skip these, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and race him there, even though we've already lost. Okay, we need to get in the slipstream, so we can get our first slipstream turbo. Go! Go, 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 go! Go for that overtake! Tactical! Yes! And we're going to go ahead and come into the left, this, this corner. We're going to hug the right, and come on. Ah! Oh, close! And there we go. We beat him there. That's basically part one done. I mean, we're going to beat him anyway, but part one's done. Now, we're going to get into the actual race, which uh, is right here, as you can see. I swear we just faced the same guy in a Datsun, uh, but obviously we haven't. So, 240Z pretty, looks pretty clean uh, behind us right there. Obviously, he's behind us for a reason, because we are absolutely just rapid right now in our stock 240Z, even though he's probably got, you know, a tuned... Okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and win this now, race. So, one thing Midnight Club did amazingly well was its OST. Its soundtrack was just ridiculous. One of the best soundtracks in a game at all, ever. Ev like, ever. It's just one of the best soundtracks I have ever heard in a game. Uh, it's got a good balance of rock, rap, EDM. And uh, I've got to say, for me anyway, it's one of the best... Not just uh, racing game soundtracks, but just soundtracks in general. There's a lot of songs which I still remember to this day. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can get to that gap. Von Gittin Jr. 1v1 me. Okay, as we come into the last corner right here, we're going to hug the corner. And we're going to go ahead and go across the line. There we go. Now we're across the line. Uh, and we came first. Again, slowly stacking up the money. Uh, we've got five grand now, which isn't much at all. And we're going to go ahead and continue all this and go into the next cutscene. I was up out of there, man, busting U turns down one ways. Seriously, homie, 5 0 was all over my ass. Yeah, man, they were chasing all of us. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, so y'all the real deal, huh, homie? Real street. Okay, anytime you want to race with some slips, come on down to the beach then. And what did it be like last time when one of your friends refused to give up his car? Man, hold up, man. Put some brakes on that. First of all, he wasn't no friend of mine, more like a business associate. And second of all, I think he felt that you offended him. Whatever. Yo, what's up, man? What's up? I gotta get on up out of here, man. I'll talk to you later. Later, Lester. This my boy. Give it up. Oh, man, we gotta work on that. I <laughs> so have you, man. And you gotta work on shutting your mouth, fool. Man, I knew Tony was right. You can drive. You keep that up, you just might make a name for yourself. Yeah, you know what? Trevor and his boys race out of this parking lot. Go race some of the locals, then I'm sure they'll let you roll with them. Hey, man, I was gonna tell him that. Hey, thanks. And I need a mechanic. You know someone? You should speak to Carol. Yeah, my man Carol. Yeah, his man Carol. He's got the best shop and private dealership in town. It's on Sunset in Old Hollywood. Cool, thanks. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and meet Carol and see what he's up to. So we're going to go ahead and set a target for the garage. And we're going to go ahead and skirt over to the garage and see what our Russian man Carol is saying. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the journey there once we're there. I'm assuming there's a cutscene. So yeah, enjoy. I'm telling you, Jeff, the ignition timing is off. I'm working on it. New oh, books, buddy? Yeah, I guess. It's too tight. <laughs> you don't look like a trust fund baby masquerading as a movie producer. Why on earth are you hanging out with him? We've got friends in common. Mm, fair enough. No kind of a taste, eh? <laughs> what can I do for you? You tell me. This is a full service shop. Performance, body, lights, paints, vinyl, whatever you want. I can also get you new rides. Serious rides. No waiting list. Great, man. Thank you. Hey, there was just a guy in here, Martin. Also a friend of books. At least he was till he got bored with the scene. Or any scene. Nothing organized. That's his new vibe. 
Said he'd be on the strip, you know, right, Scirocco. You interested? Maybe. Fair enough. I see you around. It's too tight. <laughs> Whatever, puppy. Okay, so oddly enough, it was quite laggy during the cutscenes, but that don't matter. That don't matter. We got we go customize this vehicle. So uh, I think the first thing in order is to go straight to the paint shop, please. Oh my god, the menus are ridiculously laggy. Uh, we're gonna go straight to the paint shop, and we're gonna go ahead and give it one nice coat. I think of red. I think red and this car will go quite nice. That red. So we're gonna go ahead and slap that on. And the next thing we're gonna do is sort out these rims because rims no i'm not having that so why is the fucking menu so laggy jesus christ so i could tell straight away that these uh these these menus are really gonna piss me off but anyway we're gonna go ahead and look through the rims so as well as the normal rims we also have the south central rims uh obviously here which is really weird because it used to say downloadable rims on 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 the uh, normal version of the game but anyway uh Quick look through these. Obviously, we're not going to pick any of the South Central ones. So, we, for fuck's sake, controller, I swear. Okay, so we need to go ahead and pick some rims. Now, we've got the BBS. We've got so many rims in this game. That was one thing I remember about Midnight Club was the, 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 you know, the amount of options you have are just ridiculous. Uh, and it's very much staying true. I mean, look at all these options. The TE37s. Should we put on some TE37s? I think we should. Does it go with the, the, uh, the S14 very well? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google S14 and I'm going to find an S14 with some really nice rims. So if you just give me one second, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I think we're going to go with that original choice of the TE37s. They look pretty nice, actually, once I've just seen this car. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the dimensions as well, because obviously got to do their shit. So, whoa! Drop it to the flow already. I see how it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I don't know what happened. Anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're not going to run 20s. We're going to run about 19s, I'd say. Why is the car, like... Okay, there we go. So I, I think I kind of sorted out the, the problem we had. It's a, it still looks a bit weird, but I, I think we sorted out the problem. So uh, we're going to go ahead and reduce the tire profile. Come on, reduce. Uh, we'll make it about 19-ish. The width doesn't need to be awful much. I think we're going to keep it like that. I think that looks pretty goddamn nice. Now, obviously, we can mess around with the tires and the brakes. So we're going to go ahead and... Just see what we can do. I don't think we're going to mess around with the tyres right now. I think I think we're going to save that because the Pirellis are quite a lot. And we don't obviously have that much money at the moment. And then obviously the brakes are quite a lot too. So we're not going to touch that as of now. Uh, we've got obviously the inside of the car where we could do neons and shit. So duh, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's free. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put white neon in. The gorge, we'll make that white too. Uh, the gorge colours. I think we'll go ahead and make that red. Now, the interior colours, this is really where the big bulk of it changes. So, we're going to make a lot of it uh, black and red, I think, is the main colours we're going to be going for. Obviously, because the car outside is red. So, it just kind of makes sense. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and make that red. We're going to go ahead and make that red. Uh, this looks ugly as fuck. And we're never really going to use the interior view, so I don't really care too much. And, obviously, you've got the, all the Sparco rims and stuff. But we're not going to do any of that. We're going to go ahead and go back into the customization. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, side skirts. Again, we can do that in a bit just in case uh, we've got enough money or not. Uh, obviously, the scissor doors. Uh, it doesn't really have any effect on the game whatsoever. It's just kind of cool to look at. We've got the neons and the window tint. We'll go ahead and just fully black out the windows. We'll do the neons later. We'll do the neons later. We'll save that for later. And obviously the rear bumpers and stuff. We've got more options. Uh, options in this game are, again, just endless. Endless amounts of options. We can go no spoiler. We can go spoiler. I think we're going to go no spoiler for now. Because, again, we haven't really done much of the car. And obviously, we could we could just do so much. I need to stop saying what we can do. Because you guys can see what we can do. And it's pretty obvious. What the fuck are those? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the license plate. So there's a shit ton of license plates. As you go quite lazy. Uh, I'm going to pick... Oh, fucking hell. Look, there's a Pennsylvania one. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and pick... Uh, an LA one, since we are in LA. 
or California one even. So I'm going to quickly find the California one and I will be right back afterwards once I have found it. Okay, so for now we're going to keep it as an SUH one. We might change that in the future uh, once we've done a bit more to the car. Uh, but that's what we're going to roll with for now. We've put some new rims on. Oh, what does a Y body look like? Oh, we haven't unlocked it yet. Shit. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to run with for now, we there's a very ch high chance we're going to change that in the future. And we're obviously going to put all these bumpers on. Should we do that now, actually? Yeah, let's go ahead and put the bumpers on now. So we're going to go ahead and put that one on at the front. Uh, ooh, headlights, what the headlights look like. Ooh, I do like those, and they're only $70. So we're going to go ahead, slap those on too. Uh, hoods, what the frick is that? No, kind of want to keep the Nissan badge, so we're going to keep that on. Uh, haven't unlocked the intercooler yet. Uh, if we go to the side skirts, we're going to go ahead and slap those on. Keep it nice and clean looking is what I'm going for right now. Uh, and then the rear bumpers. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to go for that one because, again, it looks really clean. And we're going to leave out the spoiler for now uh, because I don't really want to put that one on and it just kind of looks a bit air. I think we'll put the stock one on for now. Uh, the stock spoiler. Can we do anything to the exhausts? Uh... Anything major? I think we're going to put that one that one pipe coming out. Uh, and that will be the customization for this episode. Again, don't want to do anything too crazy. I think we're going to go ahead and mess around with the paint a bit more. Uh, so what can we do? We can do two-tone. We can do front to back. We can do left to right. Oh my god. I completely forgot that we can like make it pleasant and stuff for free. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I think we're going to go ahead... Oh my lord, that looks so nice. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and give it a darker red. Uh, so, like that. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a darker red. And now, it's complete. I completely forgot that we had performance stuff to do. So, I have literally completely riced out the car. And we don't have enough to have NOS now. So, I that was my fault. I'm sorry. I, I got a bit sidetracked. But anyway, with that being said, we're going to go ahead, get, uh, get this car into a race. And see what we can do there. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 we're not. No, we're not. Because we have freaking airbags! How could I forget? How could I forget that we have airbags? So, never mind. Now we're going to get into the race after we've just put airbags onto our car. But as we drive over there... For fuck's sake, leave me alone. I, know, I, I, I don't need any of these tutorials. I played this game already. Um, but yeah, as, as we drive over there... I kind of want to ask you guys a question to do with the actual let's play itself. So, do you guys want to see... Uh, like all of the cutscenes without me talking or do you want to see them with my kind of commentary around them? Let me know. Uh, it'd be kind of interesting to know your guys' point of view. Fuck, I forgot the, the button for handbrake. Okay, there we go. So I quickly changed the button for handbrake, but that's besides the point. We're going to go ahead. Oh, look at the car lower. Look at the car lower. I didn't even know it was going to do that. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and press B for this race. Again, I got completely sidetracked. There's so many cool things about this game which you can just get sidetracked about. But anyway, as we can see, we're lining up. He's probably talking some shit to us. We've got to get to the other side of the map. Now, I'm pretty sure it's just straightforward. I do know the map quite well. I know how to get to basically everywhere. So this should be pretty goddamn easy. Uh, we haven't got NOS, which might make it ever so slightly harder. And again, I haven't played on this map in quite a while. He's using a slipstream right now. No, you're never, never going to use that slipstream. So let's just see if we know where we're actually going right now. So uh, we've got to get to the pier, I think it was. So we're going to take a left here. I know for a fact we have to take a left here. And there may or may not be a shortcut up ahead. I'm probably wrong. The reason why I'm ever so slightly worried is because the AI has gone a completely different way. Although it seems like he's really far behind right now. Yeah. Okay. I've got nothing to be worried about. I did the right decision taking that shortcut right there. Uh, and look at, look at, just look at this game. It looks so nice for an Xbox 360 game. All the licensed areas as well make it feel really alive. All the best buys and the game stops and stuff. Looks really nice. Anyway, we're going to see if we can make that gap. We can't at all. We completely fucked that up. But that's besides the point. There we go. Across the line. That's another race one. Boom. What have you got, son? you got nothing. So, we're going to go ahead and press A through all of this. We've done that. We've earned ourselves some rep. We're going to go ahead and return to cruise. And we're going to name it, you know, just an episode. That was the episode. So, if you guys enjoyed the first, for fuck's sake, controller, I swear to God. If you guys went ahead and enjoyed uh, this episode of the Let's Play, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. Uh, the next episode, it looks like we're going to go ahead and uh, face this Japanese chick and, and, and win two races. So, yeah, that's that was the end of this episode. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.